Hey guys, so it's 9 18 23 and I had um, two separate times of prophecy today um, So I'm just gonna get into it because it's a little bit long um, I will have um, Some other videos that I'm gonna reference in here and also understand that these aren't my words These come from the Lord and I'm just the scribe Okay, so the God who heals protects and guides and there are nine different subcategories healing darkness a day Evil surrounds, praise him, secured, be healed, radio Jesus, holy guidance. I am first supposed to read to you Isaiah 57, 15 to 21. For thus says the high and lofty one who inhabits eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place with him who has a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. For I will not contend forever, nor will I always be angry. For the spirit would fail before me and the souls which I have made. For the iniquity of his covetousness, I was angry and struck him. I hid and was angry, and he went on backsliding in the way of his heart. I have seen his ways, and I will heal him. I also will lead him and restore comforts to him and to his mourners. I create the fruit of the lips. Peace, peace to him who is far off and to him who is near, says the Lord, and I will heal him. But the wicked are like the troubled sea when it cannot rest, whose waters cast up mire and dirt. There is no peace says my God for the wicked. Okay, so here's the first one. This one I got at 4.30 in the morning, and 4.30 in the Hebrew means Elohim or God, and in um, the Greek it means to bear up, to persist, and listen to this. The completing of a process, living out the faith God works in you. Healing. I, the Lord God, will bring your healing today. In one day, I will heal my people. It will be known by all that I am the God who heals. When will this be? How can this be? Before the rapture, it will be known that my people, the true people are healed. It will be a sign to you that rapture is soon. When the day of healing occurs, wrinkles will disappear, cancers will disappear, all allergies stop, deformities made right, viruses healed, man-made germs halted, damage from medicines reversed, eyesight healed, lungs repaired, teeth made whole, depression replaced with joy. Every part of every one of mine will be healed. This is compassion. This is your preparation for rapture. This is a sign of who will soon be raptured after. I will heal my people. No one will ask. It will simply occur. When you are healed, rejoice. Shout my fame. Tell people I, the Lord God Almighty, have healed. It will be made known. All of the Christians are healed. Need of man's devices made obsolete. People in wheelchairs stand and walk. Those in hospital beds will be instantly well and stand and leave. Doctors will be baffled. This will be my sign, my promise to your soon leaving. Do not lose hope. Do not assume a false reality for why this has happened. Bring me the praise and spread my fame. From this day on, which means the day of healing, if a person comes to me in full faith and comes through my son, when they are baptized, they will be healed of all ills. Only for those that come in full faith. Just coming for the benefit of healing will reveal the heart. Coming to avoid tribulation will reveal the heart. These will not be healed. Those that believe will be healed in baptism like Naaman. True faith will be shown. I will heal my own. Look for this. Those in true faith will be healed and be made whole. Know your redemption is right around the corner when this occurs. 
Number two, darkness, changes to come. Darkness approaches the earth in waves that will be strong. Only those praying and worshiping will be spared the torments. Evil in the spiritual will invade. You will not see it. This is not a physical darkness like the thick darkness that will arrive after rapture, but this darkness will be as noticeable as a cloud that covers the earth. The first wave of the darkness will be upon all men not saved. They will turn very violent, very wicked, and very evil. They will become like wild beasts, selfish and unkind. They will seek to destroy each other and property. This is because of an evil ritual the kings have done. Every person will have a choice. Each who is not initially in the darkness and acting like a beast, they can join the uprising or they can pray for me for protection. Do not join the uprising. Find peace, perfect peace, and protection in me. Pray around the clock. Put your faith in me. The fleeting fear you feel when you see the first under this spell should be given over to me in prayer immediately. Do not let fear grow. Trust me. Ask me to replace your fear with my bold confidence. Recall that when this human uprising occurs, it is a sign. The evil shows the state of how many are controlled by fear. Recall these who are controlled by fear without me. Mine do not fear. Fear is from the evil one and is how he controls people. Be at peace in me. Stay clear of these people. Stay home. If you must leave, pray before leaving the house for extra protection. Pray for your angels to be fully filled with my holy power. Pray for your boundaries of protection. Pray for your boundaries of your family and pray for the bound your boundaries around the clock. This event starts this event starts the events where you shall pray around the clock. And this event will begin to show my protection and provisions, all of mine praying full of faith, knowing I will protect, will have no wild person cross onto their property and not harm come to their person. They will be shown protected and provided for if the need arises, and they will be kept safe. The uprising will tell you real time how many people need me. There will be ones that have gotten violent and mean, and there will be those that are cowering in fear, whose property and persons will have negative consequences. Both of these are those who need me. Either they are not saved, or they are weak in their faith and susceptible to following men led by the carnal, not led by me. Pray for these. Every time you see or hear of one, pray for their salvation. If a fearful one comes to you, shelter them, pray with them, offer them the truth that those with the true faith in me, the Lord God Almighty, have protection and provisions. Share with them how to come to me through my son, Jesus, the one and only Messiah. Those weak in their faith and not under the influence of evil and darkness are the half-borns and prodigals that will turn. The harvest, right in your presence, turning to me. If you bring a fearful one, be sure to pray over them before allowing them to enter. Cast off demons and break chains. Then tell them that your home, apartment, or tent is holy ground. The human uprising is very soon. Before you can imagine, when it occurs, it will be a violent shift to the world. The first phase of darkness invading. The human uprising will be brief. Before it ends, the anointed will be gone. Your miracles will occur after the third day. The first gift I will give is my voice, me personally leading you. Do not blaspheme my name. Uh, walk worthy and upright of being called a Christian. Share with all. I am the source of your miracles. The second phase of darkness will be war. Those in true peace will be with my full faith. These that pray with each unusual happening, these are mine. These will be spared any harms um, in the war miraculously. Share my faithfulness in your provisions. Recall as man's horrors rise, so will my miracles. As my fame spreads, hearts will change. The more Christians with true faith that pray, the more houses of protection and lives of bold faith that will pop up. Those outside of war zones must pray around the clock for the harvest. This is your call. Those inside war zones, 
will be kept safe. Some will be given leadership, others to help a person here or there. Some to house many and heal wounds without a doctor by my power. Some to simply stay indoors and stay safe under my wing. Recall the war involves deception. Listen to me. If I urge you to not answer a door, do not answer. And if you recall, there was a video of a dream I had, and I'll put a link down below, that had that very scenario. If you live in a place where you never lock your door, be now in the habit of living with it locked, especially during the war. Soldiers will be looking for pre-targeted people, ones who are marked by the government as a threat to their new system. They will be rounded up for capture. I will keep my obedient people spared from this. For those that come to me with full faith later, who were rounded up before they understood how to have full faith or before they came to me through Christ, I will spare them from any harms. Before rapture, those gathered not spared by me, for they are not mine, will be used to try and intimidate others in capture to comply. These that are not mine will be tortured. These will not be my people, but they will be tortured and some killed. In order to try and use fear to manipulate all in captivity to receive injections that are not the mark of the beast, to submit to the new system, deny me and choose the false messiah. None captured who are fully in me will be harmed. Those of you who have had dreams of being killed in captivity or beheaded for having faith in me, fear not. If you are fully in me, these dreams are not regarding your personal life. These dreams are only to instruct regarding the methods that will be used to warn others. Trust me. These evil kings care not for people. They only want to spare a compliant slave race that will obey anything they say. Their goal to remove by death all who they call rebels. These who seek to keep their freedoms are not rebels. They are instead not ruled by fear. All not ruled by fear have the potential to be full of faith. Either as a Christian who finds their full faith in trials or a half born that comes to me before the rapture or a rebel that comes to me in the beginning of the tribulation. All of those that are ruled by fear are who the governments intend to use as their slave race. Do not fear. Be full of my peace. Have faith. See that I tell you how to keep safe from the harms. Why would I do this? Because I want you to be spared from the harms that man has planned. Come to me. I offer true eternal salvation. Number three, a day. How long is a day? A year, 24 hours, a season, a defined time period, many years, a week, a month. My time differs from yours. When I say a day, the people of the earth pull out a calendar and begin to count. Do not worry. You will know the day. You will have me to help you through. Have no concerns. Recall I use the words of time in various ways. This depends on context. A day. This is not a riddle for you. This is an explanation of what will occur. And then as it unfolds, you will understand. Trust. Each event gives a signpost to be taken note of. You have been given many signposts. As they occur, then you know what the next one to look for will be. Relax, trust I have your back, and that you are a part of a mighty plan to save millions. You will be my witnesses, my cherished prayer choir, my special ones. Number four, evil surrounds. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. What does this verse mean? In your age, you are surrounded by evil, but you may not know it. Or you may be keenly aware. When evil surrounds, it tries to bring all near into it. It tries to make reactions. Do not react. Think. When something evil is said or done by a person, don't react because this will return evil with evil. Stop, think, take a second, pray for wisdom, then return kindness and forgiveness. Share my son's traits with others. 
A smile may be all that is needed to diffuse a situation. When people begin to behave like beasts, they will later recall any interactions with others who were not being beasts right back at them. This will be true throughout the time of sorrows. I will bring back to their mind those who reacted with love. When I open the ears of the halfborns, this does not mean that you should go looking for evil to confront with kindness. No, I told you to stay clear of these people. But if they come near you, it does mean you should act, not react. Recall that for the next several months, this is the time for the church to shine as being love, kindness, forgiveness, joy, and peace. It is the time to act like Jesus. The expectation of Christ-likeness to be acted out in the everyday in what can be difficult situations. How? Those in full faith and walking in prayer will have my protections and provisions and be joyful. But also in prayer, they will be evaluating themselves regularly with communion, asking to be refined and to be Christ-like. The Holy Spirit will help especially in these times, to guide and bring my church into Christ-likeness in attitude as well as those who can perform miracles like my son. The season of Christ-likeness is upon you. As the world falls apart, the church will only improve. Pray for Christ-likeness. Pray to be used as a willing vessel. Pray for hearts to change. Pray for Christ-likeness. Pray to be used as a willing vessel. Pray for hearts to change. Pray for my protections and provisions. Pray to have eyes to see others like I do. Pray to be found faithful. My prayer choir, stay focused. Distractions will abound. Stay focused. Pray, read my words, worship, help others, hear my voice. I already see your success. The end has been seen and you succeed. My faithful, amazing church. Number five. Praise Him. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. Holy, holy, holy. Who can compare to the Lord God Almighty? No one. Who provided for the Israelites to cross the water? The Lord God Almighty. Who provided the Holy Spirit for the church on Pentecost? The Lord God Almighty. Is there anything too hard for the Lord God Almighty? No, nothing. The Lord God Almighty is awesome and holy. The Lord God Almighty is righteous and loving. The Lord God Almighty is perfect and kind. We serve the Lord God Almighty and no other. He deserves the praise. He prepares the people and leads them through troubled waters. He brings them safely home to heaven. He has a plan. He is our God. He is the only God. He is the eternal God. All praise and authority go to the Lord God Almighty. He is truth. He is promise. He is love. Who can have access to the Lord God Almighty? All who come to him through Jesus the Messiah. Jesus fulfilled all of the prophecies. Jesus conquered death and was raised on the third day after death on a cross. Jesus' holy blood allows us to trade our self-driven life under the rule of the eternal for a life of peace here and in heaven. Jesus provides a narrow path to true eternal salvation. Jesus is the savior of the world. Jesus sits at the right hand of God in heaven. Jesus will reign the earth for 1,000 years with justice and love and hope and kindness and joy, a society pure and lovely, where safety is normal, respect is normal, where there is no lack of need. After the 1,000 year reign, all of God's people will live eternally in the new city made by God for all in eternity. Our God has planned for every possible scenario. Nothing shocks our God. He is alive. He is provision. He is love. He is compassion. He is grace. Come to celebrate the Lord God Almighty, for He is worthy. Worthy, worthy, worthy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Praise Him. Lift your voice. Praise the Lord God Almighty. He is worthy indeed. Okay, so for this one, I was told to tell you to reference the Spiritual Warfare playlist. It's on my channel that um, I have done a lot of work on, and I keep adding things in there sometimes. So um, if you don't know how to what this means or how to do Spiritual Warfare, please watch that. Okay, number six, secured. Stand firm. Be 
fully in me and be boldly in prayer. Do not be swayed by deception. Do not be manipulated by man. Put on the full armor of God and stand firm for him. Do not give in to the evil one. Do not react to people. Do not complain. Do not cease praying. Do not cease praising. Do not cease reading the words of Jesus. Stand firm. Be immovable from righteousness. Be stubborn for me. Be determined to stay the course to the end. Stand firm. Number seven. This was uh, given at 8.23 in the morning. The Greek 8.23 is indivisible, a part of time not able to be cut, meaning an instant or a moment. And then 8.23 in the Hebrew is two cities in Judah, but it means graceful, blessed, inherent beauty that others find captivating. Okay, so healing rain is about to fall on the earth, on the small. Healing rain, it comes to change the hearts of all. Be healed, my people. Be healed. Let me refresh you. Let me heal your body, soul, and spirit. This is simple for me. One breath and you are restored. This is the goodness of God. I care for my own. I provide. I come to heal you. Okay, so this one is in preparation for number eight. And um, this is called Radio Jesus Dream. And on 4-18-23... I had this dream very specific and it relates to the next um, piece of prophecy. So I was already transformed. I gathered some people from this little church where the Lord has led me near my house here and they were all true Christians. There was no power on in the area and um, the area looked rough as if it had been through something like war or some difficulties. Um, we were all parked um, with our cars in a square facing each other with our headlights on, facing all each other. And um, we were in a big grassy field. So after we parked our cars, we went and we were setting up rows and rows and rows and rows of birthday bags. And the birthday bags were gift bags and they were magenta and white. And inside they had various gifts, but they did include um, food, which was a hot cooked meal, teddy bears, bread and water. Now we all had our radios synced and turned up to the maximum volume with our doors open. This was so when the people arrived, they could he all hear the message. Jesus was on the earth and preaching on a mountain. And we were doing remote broadcasts so the people in our area could hear Jesus live. We were all really excited. Another team was driving a bus to pick up people from all over town and we were preparing for this event. So here's the key elements in this dream. This is obviously post-war. It is pre-rapture because the car lights worked and it was not thick darkness in the dream. It was more like dusk. Um, this is pre the choice for the false messiah because people were still able to move about. They have birthday bags, meaning this is the day that they will come to Christ and it will be their Christian birthday. Um, that no power was on for most people. Um, the birthday bags ensure the physical and spiritual needs are met and that all who attend will be for their spiritual birthday. The magenta color is God's color. White is the color of holiness and Holy Spirit. The hot meal represents miraculous food provisions suggesting that food is sparse and those not under God's protection have no electricity or gas to cook it. But we did. The teddy bears are for comfort. The um, bread and water is the New Testament or words of Jesus, um, he being the bread of life and the living water. Okay, so now I'm going to go to number eight. Um, this was given at 8.38 in the morning. In Hebrew, that is the step or the sense of going. And in Greek, it is growth or increase effected by God. Okay, so this is called Radio Jesus. There is nothing too hard for the Lord. The radio will play my son's words for all to hear. He will be on the earth. He will speak to all people. Every station on the radio will be overtaken by his words. Your generation has so many wonders in store. Rejoice that you get to see all of these in your time. Amazing. 
Everyone will hear Jesus the Messiah around the world just to hear his words over the earth. Imagine the love and truth and that all will hear. The proud will become humble. The deaf will hear his voice very different than any human voice on earth. His voice filled with my power, my love, my truth. It will be felt by all who hear. It will change their hearts. Everyone who hears will stop and their hearts will be changed. Some will see this event live. They will know the differences between the false Messiah and my true son, Jesus. He will stand and testify. The only the wicked will stay very stubborn. Rejoice. This is true. The Lord Jesus Christ will return with grace. He will personally offer grace to all who have ears to hear. Most will turn to him. Most will believe. Most will rejoice. Many wonders are to come, church. Many wonders. Number nine. Um, this one I was told you that if you don't know what sanctification is or about the process of baptism and salvation, you should watch the entire series called Sanctification. Um, so I'll put a link down below. Number nine, holy guidance. Do not lose hope. Do not believe men's deceptions. Nothing they say will unfold as they believe. They speak empty words. Come to me. Be a part of the leaders of the revolution. Be my willing vessel. Be obedient to call the true faith and prayer around the clock. Have hope. Share hope. All who stand firm for me will be faithfully protected. If you think you are standing firm for me and you are being surrounded by harms, repent. Seek me. Find out what you are doing incorrectly. Your protections and provisions are evidence of a pure heart. So no protections and provisions show your heart is not pure. If this is the case, you are not being seen in obedience. Why? Have you listened to man? Have you avoided baptism because you have decided that faith alone is acceptable? Have you forgotten to stay pure with regular communion? Are you worshiping a version of me that you have made up? Do you resist my words and assume you are of me? Recall, all of my words stand. Your generation has resisted much of what I teach. As a brief review, Jesus Christ is the one and only Messiah. The only way to me is through him. You must be baptized. You must turn from your old self and be holy. You must pursue righteousness and turn from the carnal. You must not choose your own path. You must not choose your own. You must hold to my truth that I created the world. It did not evolve. You must understand that being filled with the Holy Spirit is very peaceful. If you are a f in a frenzy, out of control when you claim to have the Holy Spirit there is a false spirit that you have allowed to rule you must stay clear from magic wickedness and evil you must believe in Christ alone no man should be the center of your faith I should be the voice you hear from not man not man's religions not news not books not philosophy not an energy not rituals not beads involved no energy jewelry no eastern religions no eastern athletics or relaxation no mysticism not many roads leading to me no idols no saints not worshiping the earth stay clear from these things that affect your soul that are not christ-like your generation has decided anything goes and what a person prefers is also right. This must be rejected fully. Only what I say is to be followed. I say marriage is for one man and one woman for life. I say sex is only for those married. I say people are the they were born to be. I chose it. I say the depressed have not turned over their troubles to me. I say money is a tool, not a measure of man. I say love is better than being right. I say truth supersedes feelings. I say equality is only measured by Jesus. Those in covenant with me in the new covenant who have Jesus' grace applied are all equal. I say Christ's likeness is the measure of a man. I say the only way to receive eternal life is through my son. I say holiness is to be attained. I say mine are to be sanctified before entering the gates of heaven.
I require respect. I require humility. I require submission to my laws. I require rejecting every falsehood. I require worship, prayer, reading of my word. I require people to put other people first. I require true faith. Not an attempt at faith to acquire benefits, but seeking faith because you truly love me, because you truly have faith that my son's sacrifice does fulfill the law. I am your maker. I require life to be lived how I see fit. Stepping away from righteousness and truth is seen as rebellion. If you are not seeing the blessings as the world spirals out of control like other Christians with identifiable provisions, consider which of these things you have chosen to believe or do in your own wisdom and which ones you believe you are right about that makes your wisdom above mine. Pray and ask me. I will shine a light. Ask a Christian who does receive my provisions, protections, and miracles. They will be able to help. Find one and ask them to pray with you to see what you need to change. All with miracles, protections, and provisions will be raptured. If you love me and would like to come in the rapture, repent, stop, change to meet my wishes. I offer true grace. Come to me. Come. Okay, so I hope you find that encouraging or helpful. And um, there's links below. And there's always the link for the um, paper copy if you want to download a PDF. So see you next time.